Hi guys, for this week's ROM of the week, definitely check out Resurrection Remix ROM if you have uh, the International SMN910F. Now, um, you can also install this on T-Mobile, but your SIM card will not work. Something to do with Marshmallow, so that is really too bad, but uh, hopefully the Resurrection Remix team will have a T-Mobile version available. But you can go ahead and install this on SMN910F. Uh, I'm not sure about other models. You may be able to install it on other international uh, models based on Qualcomm. You can try it. It doesn't hurt. Uh, it's not going to break your phone or anything. Just make a backup ROM first. Uh, let me go ahead and show you this ROM. Uh, it's all empty because I've actually installed it and used it. I tested it out uh, and then I was testing it out on my T-Mobile version and then I found out SIM card didn't work. So I installed it on the international version and SIM works just fine. Excellent ROM, you get a ton of customization. Let me start with the camera. Um, you get a nice modified camera. Uh, here we go, which gives you additional settings. Um, you got uh, flash mode, store location, picture quality, uh, all this stuff. So that's kind of cool. Uh, there is also HDR mode if you want it. You can turn it off. All right, camera works really good. Uh, let's actually, you know what, I forgot to check the resolution uh, for the uh, videos. How do I do videos? Here we go. Um, to do videos, you can go ahead and do that. And quality, also quality, you can only do up to 1080p for this ROM, so that's, that's kind of bugging. Um, that's a bugger. <laughs> All right, so if you don't mind that, uh, everything else should work just fine. Um, let me go ahead and show you configuration. So you can do all kinds of customization. Uh, one of the highlights of using this ROM. All right, so you got uh, battery style. You can go ahead and change it to circle if you want. Um, resurrection logo, headset icon, when the headset is connected. 4G instead of 4G LTE. Double tap to sleep. Status bar, all the basic stuff you can do, but um, if you're new to my channel and new to custom ROMs, um, you can also disable the hardware keys and enable the soft keys, all right? If you want, maybe your hardware keys broke. Um, this is a great way to use your soft keys. I actually did that for um, one of my friends. You can also download an app. There's like a soft key app you can download and use also. Uh, some cool stuff, gesture anywhere. All right, uh, three finger gesture. You can go ahead and swipe down and that'll take a uh, screenshot. Gesture anywhere. This is, uh, you can go ahead and add your favorite gestures. Let's say I want to open my calendar with a C. All right, set that. And also you can go ahead and set the trigger width. This is how you trigger it. I usually like to make this a little bit bigger, make the height a little bit smaller. Um, so when I hit the top here, I can draw my gesture and it'll go to my calendar. Um, but I didn't sign in after I reinstall this. Um, also, you got app circle bar. Uh, if you want to have a bunch of apps, go ahead and set that. Put your shortcuts. And of course, you have pie control also. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. All right, miscellaneous stuff. And... The, the coolest thing about this ROM is it's super fast. It's going to make your Note 4 into like a Note 5. All right, guys, moment of truth. We're going to go ahead and run N22 side by side. And we're going to see which one does better. And boom shakalaka. And also note uh, how smooth the graphics run on both of these. And you can see the performance of the Note 5 is not bad at all. Um, you try this test uh, with some of the newer processors. And in this, actually, it looks a lot smoother uh, with the Note 4. It's unbelievable uh, what this ROM will do to your phone. So I feel like they're about the same performance. So this ROM really makes your phone faster. And we still don't have Marshmallow on the Note 5. Um, so but the performance you gain, gains you get uh, with the Note 4 is pretty amazing as you can see here. And you can see they're almost 
par on par. Actually, the Note 4, I think, is actually running a little bit faster. Well, I started a tiny bit faster, but you can see performance is very negligible um, between the two phones. All right, look at how smooth the Note 4 is running uh, with the Note 5. So for those of you who have been asking me why install custom ROMs, this is the reason why. Uh, basically, you can get you know uh, the latest Android version and make your phone more efficient, uh, reuse it. I mean, look at that. There's absolutely a huge difference here. And they're both actually doing the same test in the same resolution, and they both have 1440p screens. Um, so I cannot really argue. This is really good. So definitely check out the Resurrection Remix. Um, we'll go ahead and skip to the latter part of the, Well, I'll just leave it here in case you guys want to run it. Uh, if you guys want to test out your phone against the Resurrection Remix on the Note 4, um, definitely check it out. It's too bad you can't install it on the T-Mobile Note 4. I'm actually working on that also. Um, you can grab the CR, C, CM Remix ROM, which I'm running on my T-Mobile, which has SIM working. Um, that one is pretty good also. I should have a video on that shortly. Uh, but you can see so far, uh, we are about the same <laughs> as far as 3D um, RAM, and we'll see the final numbers when we're done here. All right, guys, results are in, and you can see I've got 70,000 on the Note 4. 78,000, it did finish a lot quicker, uh, but uh, I 
this one did beat the Note 5 in 3D scores, which is amazing. Um, as far as UX, that's well, it, it fell behind uh, the Note 5 and also CPU. And this is, by the way, not overclocked. Now, I should have some more, I'm going to do some more tests and uh, find out um, if I can get this thing overclocked. Then we should be able to actually potentially reach those scores. But for right now, 70,000, uh, that is whopping good scores for the Note 4. Um, so definitely check out this ROM. Uh, and when your performance improves, your battery life also improves because it means that um, you need less performance to achieve the same thing. So how much more efficient the Resurrection Remix. And actually most of the uh, Marshmallow ROMs are just as good as the Resurrection Remix. This one I like it because it's very stable. I've tested it for uh, like a whole week and I've da daily drove it. Um, so definitely check it out if you have an SMN910F. If you have like a SMN, I think N910G, you may be able to, I think, install it. Um, just make a backup ROM before you do and do let me know if it does work on that also. Uh, but definitely check it out. Great ROM, uh, super fast performance. You can go ahead and revamp your phone uh, almost as fast as a Note 5. So check it out and I'll see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android.